You're twice as sure with two great names, Frigidaire and General Motors. Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. More Frigidaires serve in more American homes than any other make. And now Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as Ken Thurston, the man called X. There was nothing unusual in the way it started. The girl was one of Pagan's big moments, and Ken had met the two of them accidentally in a New York supper club. All in all, a pretty ordinary incident with not the slightest hint of the strange and dangerous things to follow. After all, how can you become involved in a murder just by saying... How do you do, Miss Martin? Oh, likewise, Mr. Thurston. Only why don't you just call me Pearl? Everybody does. Don't they, Pagon? That's right, Mr. Thurston. Of course, it's all right with me, you understand. Why, Pagon, you told me just the other Pardon day... Pardon me, Miss Martin. I, um... I've been admiring that pin you're wearing. It's very unusual. Ain't it so? All them different colored jewels in it. <laughs> I... <clears throat> I just gave her that this evening, Mr. Thurston. 200 simoleons. Nothing but the best for Pearl. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 200 bucks, eh? Miss Martins, I'll give you uh, 250 right now. Do you want to sell it? Mr. Thurston. Gee whiz. I, I mean, well, gosh, it's got a kind of sentimental value and all. Well, I just couldn't possibly. Gosh, let me get it unpinned. Pearl. Here you are. Five fifties. Thanks. Pagon told me about you and him going on secret missions, but he didn't say nothing about your being such a heavy expense. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, I came in here to look for Pagon. We've got to leave right away on a secret mission. Oh, ain't that the way it is? Just when the party gets started. But, Mr. Thurston... Come on, Pagon. Have it met you, Miss Martins. And likewise. And if you're ever around this way again, well... Mr. Thurston, in all my life, I've never saw anybody pull such a... Pagon, there right? wasn't any other way around it. I'll explain later. But I was trying to tell you. I was just kidding, Harry. I only paid ten bucks for that pin. I can get you a hundred like that. You better buy them, Pagon. You'll never get a real ruby any cheaper. A ruby? I, offhand, I'd say it's worth about a hundred thousand dollars. But then you bought. Then I gave. And then you... Ah. Oh. Telling you, I don't know anything about it, Mr. Thurston. Maybe some stick-up guy was in the shop. Looks more like a tornado. You say the owner's name is what? Reuben? Sure, Sal Reuben. Uh -huh. He's a very good friend of mine. Absolutely legitimate, you understand. Like all my friends are. Oh, sure, yeah. But I don't know why he went off and left the shop empty like this. Somebody's given it a going over, all right. <laughs> At least they didn't get the safe open. Yeah, it's still locked. Yeah. I'd like to get a look inside of it, too. Well, I, uh... Might just possibly be able to. <coughs> All right, go to it. This big old-fashioned kind's are a cinch. Uh, so I've heard, of course. Uh, now, let's see now. Pagan, mm -hmm. did Reuben try to make you buy that particular pin? Oh, no. In fact, he said he shouldn't sell any of them until Mr. Smith had a chance to pick out uh, what he wanted. Who's Mr. Smith? Oh, some customer of South that's always one's first chance at the South American shipments. Uh-huh. I think I'm getting somewhere. Now, South uh, America, eh? You must have bought the stuff from this Estrella company listed here in the ledger. Hmm. Asuncion, Paraguay. Funny place to buy costume jewelry. Most of the time. Hey, Mr. Thurston, I got it open. See? Look. Look. Yeah. Is that your friend, Rubin? Sure. But it's the first time I ever saw him inside a safe. Yeah, and it's probably the first time you ever saw him dead. about it, Ken. Dr. Sotolin says the ruby is pretty well known to gem experts. It's a part of the Herncastle collection. Herncastle. Isn't that the Nazi who died in South America a few years ago? Yeah, a couple of months after he was convicted of espionage. 
They confiscated all his property, including the $3 million collection of jewels. Wait a minute, Chief. That was... Sure. It was in Paraguay. That's right, Ken. Asuncion. And according to the wire I got just now from the Paraguayan authorities, the entire collection is still in their treasury vaults. Mm, there's at least one ruby that isn't. They had the stuff appraised, and it's held now as a part of the backing for the, their uh, monetary system. Three million. They might pay the dickens with their economy if anything happened to it. Yes, yes. I think their annual budget's only around eight or nine million. Chief, I think I know where to pick up the trail. Hang on. Oh, what was that? Yes, I must have dozed off a little. Well, doze back in again. We're heading for Paraguay. It's not possible, Senor Thurst, that I'm aware that Dr. Sutherland here is a recognized authority, but it is simply not possible that these jewels are imitations. Gentlemen, please. I don't think uh, Dr. Sutherland has made any statement like that yet, Mr. Hernandez. Oh, but he's going to. I can tell it by his face. See, si. he has placed them on the table and looked at them one by one. And each time he shakes his head. It is not possible. What makes you so sure it isn't possible, Colonel Mazzaro? Because, Senor Thurston, I am in charge of the Federal Police in Asociación. The men who guard these treasury vaults. And with me in charge, such a thing could not happen. I see, Colonel. I, uh, I might suggest, however, that you ask the worthy deputy of economic affairs whether the real jewels were ever placed in the vaults. Well, Mr. Hernandez? I can assure you that they were, Senor Thurston. You may recall, my dear Colonel, that the collection was appraised by several experts at the time. Uh, Have you finished looking at them, Dr. Soderlund? Uh, yes, Mr. Thurston. And the results are... You have already anticipated my conclusions. These gems are imitations. Sir Chris Santos, the opposite. Senor Thurston, when this information gets to the public, the exchange value of the Guarani will drop to 10 cents. It's your job to see it doesn't get to the public, Mr. Hernandez. Meanwhile, I'll talk over a plan of action with Colonel Mazzaro. Very uh, good. And uh, perhaps the talk should be a private one, Senor Thurston. All right, Colonel. Let's go. It might also be well if we had a private talk, Senor Thurston. Yeah, I'll see you later in the day, Mr. Hernandez. So long. Uh, I uh, I must warn you, this, this man, Hernandez, is, is not to be trusted. It is best not to tell him anything we are doing. Yeah. Well, I... Uh, there you are, Mr. Thurston. Uh, what did you find out? Tell you later, Pagan. Colonel Mazzaro, I got a couple of things I, I want to check on. Suppose I meet you at staff headquarters in about an hour. Well, excellent. Uh, as a matter of fact, I certainly recall an engagement I'd forgotten. Well, at least you remember it, Caribo. You're late already, you know. Felicia! Oh, boy. Pagan! Felicia, may I present Senor Thorsten from the United States? This is Senorita Ruiz. Senor. How do you do? I was in a very important conference, my dear. Well, in that case, I forgive you. Ah, thank you. I'm sorry, I... This, I was admiring that pin you're wearing. It's quite unusual. Mr. Thurston? Thank you. It, it was made for me by a rather close friend. Mm -hmm. Set with onyx. From Paris, isn't it? No. It's a local product. Oh. In the language of the gems, onyx means a happy marriage, you know? Which, of course, refers to me, Senor Thurston. Felicia and I are engaged. Oh, congratulations, Colonel. Well, I shall be in my office in about an hour. Come, querida mia. Hasta la vista, Senor Thurston. Goodbye, Senorita. Phew. I thought you were going give to give her 250 bucks for it. What for? It was a phony. Come on, Pagon, let's go. Right along. Oh, yeah, there's a sign over the door. Estrella Company. Dumpy little joint, eh? What's the rest of the sign mean, Mr. Rex? Manufacturing jewelers. Come on, let's go in. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. Good. In that case, maybe. Look out, get down! Huh? Huh? <laughs> if I get out of that, if I get out of this alive. I swear by the father oh, of my father, the height. You're all right, you're all right. You've got to wait for the back door. Who can I wait? I don't know who, but he had on a police uniform. What was he trying to do anyhow? He was crouched down there in front of the safe, trying to open it. Oh, no. Not another safe. 
I guess, I guess I better go and get some lunch. Are you gone? Yeah, but maybe inside. I mean, after all, who knows? Could be. Uh, Nobody in the shop. Come on, Jimmy Valentine, get to work. Continue with Bridget Ayer's Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall. When a hundred thousand dollar ruby turned up in a worthless piece of costume jewelry, and the body of one Sal Rubin was found stuffed in his own safe, Ken Thurston decided the best place to pick up a lead would be down in Paraguay. Strangely enough, the trail down there has led to another safe. The combination of this one is giving Pagan some trouble. What's wrong, Pagan? We've been strolling around there for 20 minutes. Oh, who knows, Mr. X? Maybe the combination of this one is in Spanish. Well, come on, get on with it. Oh, please, quiet, quiet, please. I think something clicked just then. I stop that very much, senor. Hey, the tamale with the gun. You will both be so kind as to raise your hands. Well, I was looking forward to seeing you again, Felicia, but not quite this soon. Obviously. May I ask what you are doing here? May I ask what you are doing here? My father happens to be the owner of the Estrella Company. Senor Ruiz, eh? So that's who makes this jewelry. Where is he now? What have you done to him? The only person here when we came in took a couple of shots at us and left. He was wearing a police uniform. Police? That is ridiculous. Is it? That gun makes me nervous, Mr. Thurston. Why don't you take it away from her? Any suggestions as to how? I do not wish to listen to this talk. You will tell me at once what has happened to my father, or I will shoot you both. Both? Now, 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 wait a minute. Maybe we can make a deal. Senorita is not going to shoot anybody. Drop the gun, Felicia. Stupid, animal. Thanks, Mr. Hernandez. Come in. <laughs> Everybody's got a gun. Since you leave the treasury, Senor Thurston, I have concentrated and put two and two together. There is only one man in Asuncion who makes jewelry, Senor Ruiz, the father of Felicia. I have come to talk with him. So have I. Only he seems to have stepped out. My father is guilty of nothing. Manuel, tell me what this is all about. Manuel, eh? Is that uh, Colonel Mazzaro, your fiancé? I will tell you nothing. I demand you find my father at once. Senorita, that's exactly what we were trying to do. All right, Pagan. Back to work in the safe. Well, the truth is, Mr. Thurston, I mean, I I don't know just how to say this, but, uh, well, you see, it's like... Uh, if it will help any to find him, the combination is left, 21, to right, 236, left, 81. Hmm. What were you going to say, Pagan? Shh, 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 quiet, please. You, you see, I'm concentrate. Uh, uh, left, 21, right, 36, left, 81. Mr. Thurston, I did it. Open it up, then. Oh, no, not me. You remember the last time? All right, then I'll... Hmm. It... It's empty. Well, you can't find a body every time. Well, that's that. Perhaps somebody warned him, Senor Thurston. Could be. Senorita, with the color your eyes are right now, you're wearing the wrong kind of jewelry. Senor, I do not... Yeah. Instead of onyx, it should be sapphires. Sapphires? Yes. They are very difficult to find. One would not know where to look. No, I suppose not. By the way, seen this before? A hotel key. No, senor, I have never seen it before now. Mm. Mr. Thurston, why don't we scrum out of this joint and find something to eat? Yeah. Mr. Hernandez... Why don't you stick that gun in your pocket and we'll all four talk this thing over at the nearest cafe? Whatever you think best, Senor Thurston. There, but I, I really think we should do something. I was before... waiting for you to do that. Felicia! There she goes, Mr. Thurston. She's escaped from us. She, she... Yeah. I kind of thought she would. What? But, but now she will rejoin her father. I doubt she'll get far. Asuncion's not a very big city. Shouldn't be too hard to block off the exits. Well, I shall notify the police immediately. Good idea. But maybe you'd better get some of your own men out, too. Don't forget who's in charge of the police. Oh, Colonel Massaro. Mm -hmm. I will give the orders at once, and I shall watch the airport myself. Good, and you may as well limit the search to Felicia. Never mind, Senor Royce. But why not, Senor? Because he's lying dead over there behind that workbench in the corner.
I hope you remember I still haven't had anything to eat, Mr. Thurston. You can order something, sir, for the room, Pagon. Come on. Oh, just a moment, Senor Thurston. What is it? I have a call for you. Just came in. The party is on the line now. Oh, thanks, sir. You can take it, yes. Mm hmm. Ken Thurston speaking. This is Colonel Mazzaro. I've been trying to reach you. Oh, go on. A very bad thing has happened. I've just found the body of Senor Ruiz in the river. He has been shot to death. What? He's the padre of Alicia, he's a maker of jewelry. It's possibly some connection with this case. Yeah, I know. Where'd you say you found his body? Floating in the river at the south side of town. All right, Colonel Mazzaro. Meet me at the Treasury office in half an hour. Very well, senor. Adios. Pagon, take a taxi up to the airport and find Hernandez. We'll meet you at the Treasury office in half an hour. Okay, Mr. Thurston. Now, what do you mean, we? Oh, Felicia and I. Oh, well, I thought... Felicia? Hey, where are you going to find her? Unless I'm badly mistaken. She's upstairs in my hotel room. <laughs> I hope we haven't kept two gentlemen waiting. You captured her. Felicia, what is it? Have you been placed under arrest? Oh, no, Colonel Mazzaro. Not yet, anyway. I at least have nothing to hide, Manuel. I am not afraid. All right. Felicia. We're all here together, so let's take a quick look at the thing. In the first place, somebody here stole the Hermit Castle collection of gems and substituted imitations in the treasury vault. I hope you're not well, implying... Then they worked out the scheme with Royce to get the real stones out of the country into the United States. I cannot understand how my father would ever... Such a thing. He would make up cheap costume jewelry for shipment to a man named Rubin in New York. And with each order, he'd include two or three of the real stones. Wasn't much chance of them being caught in customs. You mean my old friend Sal was mixed up in this? I rocket? don't think so, Pagon. The New York partner was this Mr. Smith, who always insisted on first chance of the Paraguayan shipments. He's the boy who killed Rubin when he found the real stone was missing from the last order. Thought Sal had got wise to him. Senor Ruiz, he was killed too. Right. That was so I wouldn't have a chance to talk to him. But, Mr. Thurston, who is the big shot that's back of all that? It had to be somebody with access to the treasury vault. That lets Felicia out and leaves Colonel Mazzaro and Hernandez in. I will not be insulted, senor. You're ducking before your head, Colonel. You are accusing me by implication. Look, you're engaged to the daughter of a man we know was in on the scheme. She knew nothing about it. Pagan and I were shot at by a man in a police uniform. You reported finding Rice's body in the river. And I'd already seen it in the back of his shop. I did find it in the river. Senor, I told you Colonel Masada was guilty. In New York, everything was pretty carefully covered up. But down here, the whole case points to Colonel Mazzaro. Which adds up in my book to somebody else. What? Oh, gracias. Si. Si, senor. For instance, to Mr. Hernandez, maybe. In Paraguay, senor Thurston, we insist upon evidence. Well, how about the jewels themselves? They'll be pretty good evidence. And... Where do you think they are, Senor Thurston? A man with a fortune concentrated in gems will probably keep them pretty close around him. Ready for a quick break. In your case, Colonel, they might be in the pouches of that cartridge belt. You are at liberty to look. With Senor Hernandez, I'd say in that diplomatic briefcase he carries everywhere he goes. Yes, yeah, suppose we have a look. Well, uh, open that case. I'm warning you. Watch him, Colonel. One move, Hernandez, and I shall kill you. Hmm. Uh -huh. Little leather bag here in the bottom. Suppose we just... <gasps> oh! Uh. Well, there's your evidence. Just look at them jewels. Yeah. There's about a third of them missing, though. Your partner in New York ought to do all right with them, Hernandez, since we don't know who he is. Senor Thurston, I, I'm well aware of the treatment I can expect from my old friend, Colonel Massaro. I have no desire that my partner should be free of the same difficulties. He is Martin N. Hill. You will find him at the Hotel Barstone in New York. Good. Then that winds it up. Well, wait a minute, Mr. Thurston. Hey, how did you know Felicia was going to be in your hotel room, huh? I sent her there, Pagon, by mentioning sapphires. Huh? Senor, in the language of James, a sapphire means escape from danger. And the hotel key told me where to go. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Yeah, I get it now, all right. Okay, Mr. Thurston. Well, let's blow out of this town and get back to New York. I want to see Pearl. Oh, but she's probably spent that 250 by now. Well, after all, Mr. Thurston, <laughs> money isn't everything. Why, Pagon, coming from you. Sure, it isn't everything. But there are an awful lot of people who think it is. Who'll sacrifice their countries, even the world, for it. 
We've stopped Hernandez, sure. But we're letting others a whole lot smarter go on running loose. What's the matter with us? When are we going to wake up? Frigidaire star, Herbert Marshall. Ladies and gentlemen, America needs more steel. Scrap metal helps make steel, but it is very scarce. So look around your home, won't you, for scrap iron and steel. Turn it into your local scrap dealer or to your local scrap metal drive. And thanks for being with us. As usual, I'm sure you all know that Pagon Zellschmidt was played by Leon Belasco. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, a very special broadcast. One that I'm sure every one of you will want to hear. A little off the beaten track, but of vital importance to every one of us. So be sure to listen. And of course, join us, won't you, when next I return as the man called X. Good night. Richard Ayer's Man Called X is directed by Jack Johnstone, with music composed and conducted by Johnny Green. Tonight's story was written by Les Crutchfield. So until next week, same time, same station, this is Wendell Niles speaking for Frigid Air, made only by General Motors. All characters and incidents used on this program are fictitious, and any resemblance to actual persons or incidents is purely coincidental. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.